Now to a new video showing what happened just moments before that deadly Uber crash involving a self-driving car. Tempe, Arizona police say Uber's SUV was operating in autonomous mode with a human backup driver when it struck and killed 49-year-old Elaine Herzberg. Uber today put the brakes on all road testing of its self-driving cars after a deadly accident. Arizona. Why has this become Silicon Valley's testing site? The regulation in Arizona is incredibly relaxed. Yeah. The governor welcomed everyone in with an executive order ordering all agencies in the state to do whatever they needed to do to welcome self-driving cars to test in the state. potentially fatal flaw in Tesla's autopilot feature. So let's say you were accelerating that quickly and an object flew in your way. What would happen then if you were on autopilot? Would it immediately break on its own? Um, yeah, it, 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 if it detected that there was something that was going to hit the car. To mm -hmm. the deadly crash, the car on autopilot using advanced technology. A big feature of the Tesla vehicle in question is that it allows drivers to let go of the wheel. Walter Wong was behind the wheel of the nearly $80,000 car heading into work at Apple just before 9.30 a.m. March 23rd. The car slamming into this barrier. Wong's brother telling ABC station KGO the 38-year-old engineer had complained seven to ten times the car would swivel toward that same exact barrier during autopilot. Walter took it into a dealership addressing the issue, but they couldn't duplicate it there. But it's important to emphasize it will never be perfect. Autopilot will never be perfect. No, no. I mean, nothing in the real world is perfect.